A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ and outside the body of Christ. Well, once again, this is your Christian brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, the land of my birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the Blue Caribbean Sea, speaking to you all in the month of April 2020. God riches, blessing and grace and salvation and love to the human family who is saving with his right hand of eternal power. Brothers and sisters, reaching out with my right hand, with my Christian right hand of fellowship to my atheist brothers and sisters in my own country, Trinidad and Tobago, throughout the West Indies and to Dallas, Texas and throughout the international community. I say welcome. Brothers and sisters, I was watching a video with my atheist brothers in the atheist experience in Dallas, Texas, Matt Donald D and Matt Barrow. And on the program, Matt Dunty. asking the question what is the proof that God exists what is, and, and questioning the callers who believe in God and questioning them and asking them can they prove that God exists and what is the proof that God exists they are giving example from the Bible and using physical examples in the creation of God that to prove God exists, he's denying that. He is using silly example to prove that God doesn't exist. Matt the Nadalti, take this from your little Christian brother, and you Matt, and you um, Jim Barrow, from your little Christian brother Eric Braxton, a big brother, there's a matter little or small, still Christian brother. The creation is the proof that God exists, but it's an intelligent design because this is this intelligent design did not design itself. Madonna Lulti and Jim Barrow, the studio that you all are operating in, in Dallas, Texas, or whether you all are filming all the show individually at home, and linking up one another or whether you all are sitting side by side in the same building recording the program all all the electrical equipment the earphone the cell phone the computer the mic all these things is intelligent design by the people who manufacture it but you all accept that but when i tell you all the same way you all accept that everything in the room that you are using the electrical device did not design itself, but it come from a mind of a man. I designed these things. You all said, yes, that is true. Well, I'm telling you on the birds, the bees, the trees, the moon, the stars is intelligent design by God. But you all doesn't want to accept that. You all want to say that come across, come up, come across, come out, come into existence by some big bang theory and evolution evolution and that cannot happen my dear friend but you will readily and gladly accept that is that the fan and the computer and all the electrical equipment that you all are using the mic and the computer did not design itself but people make it well all all electrical equipment that you all use in the mic the phone the computer the moon is greater than every all electrical device. And who created the moon? God created the moon. All, all electrical device that you are using, and even the telephone that you all are listening to the callers and through the computer, the sun is greater than all these electrical devices. But you all want to say that no one didn't create the sun, but, but you all accept all, all electrical devices that you are using in all the program was created by man. Can't you can't you see that you all are contradicting all yourself? And you all are not right or recognizing that my brothers. There's an intelligent mind and that mind is God who create all the create all the planets all these things are intelligently designed and the same way how the computer and the fan 
and the cell phone and all these things did not come into existence and did not make itself. The moon and the stars and the planets and the animals and we did not make itself. God who designed us and created us. That's why it said in the book of Genesis, in the beginning God created the moon, the stars, the, the sun, the planets. And then he created Adam and Eve. Then he created the plant life. Then he created the earth. That's a historical record, but you all have thrown that out the window. And that's why you all need to revisit back the book, the Holy Bible, and accept what God say. But you all doesn't want to humble yourself and do that. You all want to question the book and find them fault with the Bible and say in this God that I want to more quickly accept evolution and what the science is saying and accept what God is saying. And I the country and the predicament that you all have put all yourself in, unfortunately. And I'm teaching you all that facts so that so that you all will recognize that and dump atheism in the garbage down where it belongs and renounce atheism and that atheist experience which is negativity and return back to the Bible, the holy book, the Bible and accept God's words and have faith in God and accept what God say and do what God say and become a Christian. Oh yes, for the soul salvation. But if all you reject all what all the little Christian brother is teaching you all from Trinidad and Tobago, I reject what everything Eric Braxton is telling you in all my videos and continue to go down that road of atheism and die in that state, you all will stand before this holy God and he will judge you all rightly and squarely. Oh yes, this is my message to you, Madonna Delti and Jim Barrow and all my rest of atheist brothers and sisters not only in the in the in the in the in the atheist community that is in Dallas Texas but throughout North America and throughout the international community this is my message to one of to all of you all and I am sitting and standing here in Trinidad Trinidad and Tobago this little industrial Trinidad and Tobago because we have oil pitch and natural gas so we are an industrial country in Trinidad and Tobago, this little island country, we are a member of OPEC. We import oil to the world. Right? Right? I am I'm teaching you all this from Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, all of you all up in Texas, you all will say, well, I've imposed myself on you all, and you all are not accepting Eric Braxton is teaching you all. Because first things you all will say, Eric Braxton is not all your teacher. Who is this Christian boy who recording video claiming that he is teach he is pointing all these facts to Mad Donald Dalty and Iran Ra and Seth Andrews and all the rest? You all will say you all have me elect, you all have me take a, a take a vote amongst all the eight years colleagues to appoint me as in that position. You all will say that um you all doesn't recognize me because first I'm a Christian, you all are Atheists. So who is this Eric Braxton who is opposing himself upon us? Well, I'm a Christian. And Christ said I should preach a gospel of the kingdom of God, which is the government of God that we coming to establish upon this earth, to all the nations of the earth. That include you all. So from Trinidad and Tobago, the land of my nativity, I am teaching you all from Trinidad and pointing out all these facts to you all up in in Dallas, Texas, and to you, Eric Murphy, and all the rest of you all in Dallas, Texas, and through the, through the rest of the world. I, Eric Braxton, am recording these videos, speaking to you all directly. Right, right, right. And this is my purpose. The point, no, I am teaching you all the words of God. My brothers and sisters in the 80s community in Dallas, Texas, you all are not teaching me the words of God because you all are saying God doesn't exist. You all want to you all teaching me atheism and saying God doesn't exist and the universe come into existence by chance and with all the intelligent design, the intelligent design create itself. That's the foolishness you all are teaching me and which is which, which cannot benefit me and in that even benefiting you all, but you all are blind to that reality. I am on the other hand is teaching you all the right thing. I am teaching you all that God exists. He created the universe with all the intelligent design and the intelligent design cannot create itself. It comes from an intelligency which is God, the supreme intelligency which is God, from the mind of God, 
the design. And I'm teaching you that Jesus Christ is right. It's true. He's our Savior. The Bible is true. The words of God is true. And He created the universe and mankind for a purpose, a human family. And we didn't evolve and come by here by accident. But we come here by choice. God chose to bring this universe into existence. And, we have, and there's a purpose for He creating us. Not only us, but the angels and all these things. Brothers and sisters, I stipulated. Oh, yes, stipulated in the Bible, the words of God from Genesis to Revelation. Yes, 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 yes. This is what I'm teaching you. This is what all the little Christian brother is teaching you all from Trinidad and Tobago. All of you all atheists in the atheist community in Dallas, Texas, and show the international community. This is what I'm teaching you all. Right? Those who will recognize what I'm saying is to God bless you all. And when you all recognize what I'm saying is true, you all need to reject atheism and come out of that, come out of that atheist cult, that atheist um, bad experience, that negativity in the shortest possible time and renounce atheism and return back to Christianity, the Bible. Oh yes. Oh. Yes, because a lot of you all was Christians and you all you all have renounced Christianity and gone and joined atheism. I know you all are denying the existence of God when Psalms 14 say, a fool in his heart say there is no God. You see, that's the unfortunate position you all have put all yourself in. But I want to say there is hope for all of you all. In spite you all have done that, God love you all. And his right hand of salvation is stretched out still. And the, he's calling you all back home like the prodigal son. Return back home to God, to his words, the Bible. And, and, and when you all come back home as the prodigal son, he will forgive you all. So that, so that you all will be that Christian once again with the Bible in all your hand teaching the words of God instead of teaching atheism, leading people to God instead of leading them away from God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is what I'm teaching you all. So the ball is in all our court. All you all Christians who have left and gone, make that decision and return back to Jesus Christ. And to all those atheists who never accept Jesus Christ, and was no Christian and come to go down that line, that road of atheism. The ball is in all the court too. I want you all to make that decision and renounce atheism and accept the Bible, the words of God. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. Because what you all are doing is not benefiting no one. You all the saying that you all are building an atheist community. That atheist community cannot benefit no one. My dear brothers and sisters, because God is not a part of it. God is not the head of it. He's not the part of it. So it will fail miserably at the end. Yes, 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 yes. You all could call me the prophet of gloom or doom. The point is what I'm telling you all is the truth. My dear friend, my dear friend in Dallas, Texas. My dear friend in Dallas, Texas. So this is my message. I have recorded many videos directed to you all. And I, sp I said I'm speaking in general. To all my 80s brothers and sisters. Is this what you all will teach your literature and growing up? All your sons and daughters? That God doesn't exist. That we come from monkey. That we come from evolution. Is that what all the teacher literature and growing up? Wake up, wake up, my dear friend. When you all should be teaching the create the children that God exists. God created the universe. He created us. He created everything for a purpose. That God loves us. Jesus Christ loves us. He died for us. He loved the little children. He loved mankind. He's coming again. And all these things 
Lord should be preaching that, the words of God. But instead, you all are telling the literature that God is next. It's, oh, there is no God. There is no God. And Christianity is false. And the Bible is not true. And all sorts of things you all are teaching the literature. Because you all want to doctrinate in the literature and in atheism to grow up to be atheists like you all. You all are accepting, accept, um, setting a bad example to, to the literature and to the dogs alike. And you all want to justify and be bold faced and top it and justify what you all are doing is right. And when we Christian record videos and point out what all of you all are doing is wrong, you all want to criticize, criticize us, call us all sorts of names. We are false teachers, we are false prophets, uh, we are not true Christian, we play in holy, we play in righteous, and criticize us and say all kind of dirty and nasty thing against us for telling you all the truth. Yes, for telling you all the truth. <laughs> I for telling you all the truth, for telling you all the truth, for telling you all the truth, the mighty the pockets, for telling you all the truth, you all would call call us one sort of name, yes, and criticize us, just to justify all the atheist way of life, which is a wrong way of life, yes, and saying that there is no God in charge of all the life that you all could do what you all are saying that you all cannot do what all they want because all you have to follow the law of the land well the christians we have to obey the, the law the good laws of the land not the bad laws of the land that's like you all because we are human beings that's like you all you all are not monsters and we christians love you all that's why we are praying for you all but unfortunately, you all are atheists and you all don't believe God exists, so you all can pray for us. That's your unfortunate position that you all are in. But we are in the right position. That's why we love you all and we are praying for you all. At the same time, you know why? Because all of you all are our brothers and sisters and we love you all. So that alone will tell us we are in the right position and all of you all are in the wrong position. position. And this one pointing to all of you all from time to time and it seems like you all well you all are showing stubbornness and rebelliousness against this truth that you all do not seem do not want to learn this lesson and face the reality what I'm teaching you all you all want to continue like the children of Israel in the wilderness where they rebel against God for 40 years. Well, all of them, the, God called them the rebels. And they, they never see the land of Canaan, where they was going to inherit when they come out of Egypt, that God promised to their forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Because of the stubbornness and the rebelliousness, God decided I will allow you all to remain in this wilderness for 40 years, till you all get old and die out in the wilderness. But all the children and children from 20 years old and upwards, with Joshua will and Caleb will enter in the land of Canaan and they will reap the benefits in the land of Canaan, the milk, the honey, the wealth of the land. And that is exactly, exactly what happened. So I'm warning all of you all in Dallas, Texas, you Matt and Adalti and you, you Eric Murphy, the two cousin bird on the show. But Matt and Adalti, he he's the leading chief apostle of atheism, modern atheism. I am labeling them that way. And you Don Barker, and you Tracy Harris, and Jenny Bell, my next sister, and Jim Barrow, and all of you all on the eight year show. Mark my word. If you all continue to show rebelliousness, like the children of Israel in the wilderness, And continue to reject the Bible, the, the historical record that tell us how this universe come into existence and how God created the universe. And you can you all continue to hold on what the scientists say and reject what God say, the highest authority. 
and continue to reject the Bible and make fun of the Christian and the Bible and to continue to go down that eight years road and die a full fledged hardcore eight years. Well, I'm not writing off you all neither if we all die in that state. I'm simply saying this as the children of Israel die in the wilderness and you all decide that they die in that rebellious state of atheism and die a full fledged hardcore atheist in that state and without becoming a Christian and accepting the Bible, the words of God. Well, as I said, even in that state that you all die, I'm not writing writing you off in other words i'm not saying that when you even self you all die in that state a hardcore atheist and never accept the bible i am not saying what other christians will say other christians will say no no you all will not be saved you all will end up in a lake of fire tormenting forever i am not giving my mouth liberty i am simply saying that even self all they die in that state god still love you all and all of you all could still be saved in the day of judgment, what only stand before God. God will judge you all fairly and squarely because He loves you all. Even you spite you all die in that eight years state. But at that time when you all stand before the day of judgment, God will correct you all and He will show you all that what all the little Christian brother way down in Trinidad and Tobago was saying in all these videos was the true and all you should have listened to him. And all you should have made the change and reject atheism and throw it in the dumpster where it belongs and return back to Christianity and accept the Bible. Oh yes, and live that Christian life. Mm -hmm. Yes, but since you all refuse that, well of course some will do that, but the majority who reject what I see and cunt and others preachers who say the same thing like me reject what I see and tend to go down that hard, that road of atheism and die in that state God will tell all of you all that in the day of judgment but all of you all you know when all the face God and God tell you all, all of that Jesus Christ you all will say oh shucks you know I should have listened to Eric Braxton mm -hmm. but that time it will be too late that time it will be too late but that's the reality you all will face and God will correct you all but he will show you all his love at the same time and he will save you all but that doesn't mean as I say he will save you all that don't mean to say I am that don't mean to say that you all cannot make the decision now or not yes you all still have to make decision now to accept Christ to prevent he God from telling you all that what if only make decision now and we dump atheism in the garbage dump and we turn back to the Bible, you all will be doing the right thing. So in the day of judgment, we'll only stand before God. God will not tell you all that. Ah, you see? God will not tell you all that. He will tell you all. You do you know what he'll tell you? You all did the right thing by listening, Eric Braxton, understanding what he was telling you all, and you all make the right choice by dumping atheism in the dustbin. I return back to my words of the Holy Bible. God will congratulate you all and he will say, hats off to you all. Bravo, bravo. You all have done the right thing. That's what he will tell you all. But if you all refuse to do that, the majority, and go down that atheist road and die a hard cough atheist, then he will not tell you all that. He will not tell you all hats off bravo bravo for doing the right thing he will tell you all you all did the wrong thing by rejecting what i say what i say is that what you all want to happen to you all for god to tell you all that well the ball is in all your court you all have a serious decision to make all of you all my atheist brothers and that included to you matt and the Dante, the chief apostle of modernism modernism the chief apostle of modern, the chief apostle of modern atheism, that goes for you first, you, Madame Landanti, Aaron Ra, Seth Andrews, and all of my brothers and sisters in the atheist community. So you all have a little thinking on your hands to do. You all have a very important decision to make. And this is the message that is coming once again in conclusion from all the little Christian brother. Eric Braxton, way down from Trinidad and Tobago, this little island country, way down in the West Indies, to all my atheist brothers and sisters in 
in the United States of America, the greatest industrial nation upon the earth. This is my message to you all. Mm -hmm. But you all think that's because you all are Americans and you all are white people and you all born in the greatest land, the greatest nation on the earth, that a little island boy, you all didn't expect a little island boy to come on the sea there perhaps and to teach you all these things because a lot of you all are saying these Americans, we are grew up in a big, in the metropolis. Eric Braxton is just living in a little island country and therefore we are more superior to he and therefore he cannot teach us these things. Well, if you all are thinking that wrong, you all have it mixed up and you all have it wrong because the truth applies to everybody wheresoever they are. Get that right. And in conclusion, I'll leave that with you all. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.